Welcome to this Arnold Colourford Knitwear tutorial on joining the ends of I-cord. This tutorial is part of our Something to Knit Together series and it shows you how to join the ends of the I-cord edging that you've been working on the edge of your bonhomie wrap but you could equally use it for any situation where you're joining the ends of two sets of I-cord stitches. So when you come to the end of the pattern, you've got six stitches remaining on your needles and you've worked an extra two rows just on these last three stitches. And that just gives you a little bit of extra cord to take you round the corner. So the first job is to arrange your stitches so that they're on two needles instead of one. And so we're going to slip three onto one double point and three onto the other. If you've had your needles on, your stitches on straight needles, then you may need to pop them onto a double point so that you end up with the yarn at the right end. And you've gone from having six stitches on two needles, you're then going to fold your work so that the right side is on the outside. And you've got the right side outermost and the working yarn is attached to the stitch at the tip end of the needle and the working yarn is also attached to the rear needle. So I've cut my end and threaded it onto a blunt tapestry needle and I'm going to do the sort of setup section on the first stitch on the front and then the first stitch on the rear. And on the front needle, you go through that first stitch as if you were going to purl. And you pull the yarn through. And then on the rear needle, you're going to go through the stitch as if you were going to knit and pull the yarn through. So in the setup section, you leave both of those stitches on your needles because essentially you go through each stitch twice. Once it's been through it twice, it can come off. And now we're going to work our pattern and our pattern is knit, slip, purl on the front and purl, slip, knit on the back. So we take our tapestry needle through knitwise on the front needle first stitch and slip off and then purl wise through the second stitch and leave it on. So that was knit slip purl on the front and then on the back we're going to go purl, slip off, knit through the next stitch. And all the time your working yarn needs to stay below the needle so you don't end up with it going over the top and looking like a stitch. That would be confusing. So I'll do that pattern once more. So you go through the first stitch on the front needle knitwise. And you're going to slip it off. And you go through the next stitch on the front needle purlwise and leave it on. And then on the rear needle, you go through the first stitch purlwise and slip it off. And then the next stitch you go through knitwise and leave it on. You're just grafting the two sets of stitches together. So once you've done that little pattern twice, you've only got one stitch remaining on each needle. So the first one you go through knitwise and slip it off and the rear one purlwise and slip it off. Pull your yarn through. Now if you look at the join section now it looks like a, an absolutely terrible mess, don't worry. That's quite normal because we've done it quite loosely and all we're going to do now is take those loose strands and just tighten them up. So here's the first one, just give it a little tug so that the um, stitches all settle down and then the next one, pull that. We're tugging the yarn towards the front because that's where our end is. Here's the next loop, tug, tug, tug. 
and you can pull it then through. And if you then look, you've got your Vs of your stitches going neatly all the way along both sides. Now your yarn is now at the front of your work, which is obviously not where you want it. So you just take it through to the back. And that's now nice and tidy on the front. Oh, very pleasing. And then back here, you can just weave in your end. I'm just going to do it along the edge here. You can go up into the eye cord, of course. But I'm quite happy to have it on the rear of my stocking stitch. That's fine. I'm going to give it a tug to make sure you haven't pulled the tension off. And there you go. You've joined the ends of your eye cord edging. I do hope you found that tutorial helpful. Please don't hesitate to subscribe to our YouTube channel with the button down at the bottom here so that you don't miss any of our future tutorials. And you can click on the link up at the top here to visit our website and find out more about our techniques led books full of patterns to help you learn new things in your knitting. Thanks ever so much for watching. Bye bye.